Right, we're, we're a few months down from the operation and you're getting back to kind of normal now. I would think you're in a kind of rehabilitation process of getting your life back and you said you're back at work, uh, you know, for one thing. Yeah. Um, what work were you doing most recently? I do health work, going out looking after people in their own homes. Yes. Um, and that was part of the reason I wanted to go to back to work to give something back. I see. Because it's obviously in my type of work I see like past cancer patients yeah and it's uh, it helps me um, mentally thinking well I'm helping somebody else who's either starting to go through what I've been through or yeah. has been through what I've been through mm. and it's 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 a sense of well-being yes that's what it's all about a sense of well-being also, you've got a roll back, which yeah. you temporarily had to put to one side. That's right, yeah. Because of your illness. Yeah. How long were you off work altogether for? Um, about six months altogether. Yes, quite a while. Yeah, a long was time. Was it nerve-wracking to go back, or did you feel you could get back into I was work quite quickly? one of the most nervous days of my life, <laughs> but it was like first day at school. Yeah. Yeah, very nerve-wracking. Was there also an issue about what people knew? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I was very lucky. Um, the company I worked for kept everything in the office. It was very confidential. That was my choice, by the way. And the reason I said that is because the type of people you go to when you're looking after them in their own homes, uh -huh. they've got enough to cope with without worrying about other people. Fair enough. And I, I wouldn't wish that on them. It's yeah. not fair. They have their own issues. They don't need other people's. So you chose not to yeah. kind of release that information. Yeah. Um, so that kind of made it, for you anyway, easier easier perhaps to go back. Yeah, a lot easier. Mm. A lot easier. Yeah. Obviously that's a personal decision to, know, yeah. to decide whether your colleagues, and not just your colleagues in your case, but patients, were um, informed or not. Um, did you get quickly back into the role though? Because you were coming across other unwell people, mm. like you said, some with cancer. How comfortable was that after the fact that you'd been diagnosed? D d it, in a funny sort of way, it felt more normal than it was before uh -huh. because you got the background mm. and you knew what they were going through, you knew the emotions, Yes. Uh, physically you knew what they were going through, you understood what type of treatment they were getting, the people they were seeing, and even to like pass on a bit of information, mm. even if it's only the tiniest thing that may help, you know, if it's only, a, I don't know, pass a phone number over, mm. anything, yes. you think, and you think, well, that'll probably help them now, Yes, so you had greater information and yeah, insight into because you've situation. had personal experience of it. Yeah, uh, and did it change your relationship with those patients at all? Yeah, greatly. Hmm. Yeah, it made me understand them more. Yeah. Uh, understand uh, just the day-to-day -day needs. Hmm. And like, s sometimes perhaps all, all they want to do is have a chat to you. Hmm. And like, spend a bit of time and if it's only, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes having a chat, hmm. And that makes them feel so much better. Yes. So much better. Yeah. And in a way, it made me feel better as well. If, if That might sound a bit strange, but it did make me feel better. I can understand that. You were able to um, talk with them and because you were helping more, you felt better. Yeah. You were more informed. They were helped more. Yeah. Yeah, it's a kind of a virtuous circle. In That's right, yeah. Yeah.